Hi, it's Bill, and I'm here to tell you how to bulletproof your neck. Neck pain is one of the biggest problems today. We sit in chairs and we type all day, our neck gets stiff. So I'm going to show you some ways that you can bulletproof it. Bulletproof it just makes it stronger so you can avoid problems. The first one is really about your posture. Posture is something that most of us are not really great at because nobody's told us how to do it. So I'm going to turn to the side and show you what good posture looks like. In good posture, your ears should be in line with your shoulders. Generally, when we're sitting in a desk typing, we tend to round forward like this. We tend to let our heads come forward. For every inch that your ear is in front of your shoulders, you add 10 pounds of pressure to the discs between your neck, and that's where the nerves come out that cause pain. So your head being four inches in front of your shoulders adds 40 pounds of pressure on a disc that's not meant to do that. It will, but not for long without consequences. So to begin to bulletproof our body in any place, we need to do flexibility and strength. So I'm gonna show you a couple of quick neck stretches that you can do anywhere. The first one is just gently letting your right ear come over to your right shoulder. So you can take your left arm and reach down to the ground. That creates an anchor. Your stretch should be feeling between your shoulder and your ear. You can add a little bit more to that if you'd like by taking your hand and gently just letting it rest on your head. You're not pulling. You're just letting the weight of your arm take that ear a little bit closer. I like to hold my stretches for five to 10 deep inhales and slow exhales but let pain be your guide. If it hurts, it's not right. The second stretch is taking your chin and turning it towards your right shoulder. Gently letting the chin come down towards your chest, almost as if it's pointing to your armpit. And again, adding the weight of your arm if you'd like. Holding it for 10 deep inhales, 10 slow exhales. Gently pushing that left arm down creates that anchor. A really easy stretch. Do it on both sides. Do it often. You can also just do some nice shoulder shrugs to try and keep it back there. Another flexibility thing is actually for your thoracic spine. Your neck and your shoulders require this area of your spine to be mobile. Most of us don't move it very often. So I'm going to show you a, a stretch up against the wall to create rotation. Up against any wall with your elbow and your palm flat. Your shoulder blades gently pulled back. You're gonna take one arm away and follow it with your eyes, follow it with your head. See how that feels, and then compare it to the other side. You may notice that one side moves easier or further. That's the side you wanna start with. So if it's my right side, I follow my breath. Inhaling as my arm comes back, out, exhaling as it goes back. Inhale, taking it out, exhale, bringing it back. I like to do about 20 on each side, but always start with the good side, the one that moves easier or feels better. Now I'm going to show you some very simple strengthening exercises, because making a bulletproof body part requires strength and flexibility. We use a ball here in the clinic. You can use a rolled up towel. You can use a pillow, anything you'd like. We're basically going to use that to give you some resistance. We'll start by putting it behind your head. Trying to get yourself in good posture, your shoulder blades gently pulled back. You're bringing your chin straight back into the ball. So you're not trying to tilt your head back like this. You're trying to pull your head straight back, gently into the ball. So pushing back, holding for a count of five or even 10, perfectly fine. Some people like to do this in the car when they're driving, they use their headrest, that's great. It's a way of reminding you to do it more often. The other one is putting the ball up against the wall and the side of your head and gently pushing your head into the ball. The ball is just giving you resistance and relax. I like to do them five, 10, 15 times, or as I said, at any red light. When you come to it, just put your hand there to give yourself resistance. You don't need any special equipment. One of the tricks that we teach people here in physical therapy to help them get mindful about their posture is that when they get in the car, we ask them to adjust their rear view mirror when they're sitting in good posture, the shoulders back, the ears in line. If you're driving down the road and you can't see out that rear view mirror, don't change the mirror, change your posture. So those are some tips to help bulletproof your neck. If you'd like those or more information, check out my YouTube videos, subscribe and hit that little bell. It'll give you a notification anytime we put new content there. Thanks. Enjoy what you see. Be healthy.